I made it guys I made it looking back this is a life lesson no matter how slow you are as long as you're moving you'll get to where you want to be yes hi long time no see no talk no nothing I really miss talking to you guys and now that I have the opportunity to do that guess what I'm gonna use it to the maximum so from the title of this video you can definitely tell that I went hiking with long knots and it was really fun because it was like my first time it was like fun and tough at the same time and quite challenging but I just like decided to do things that I've never done before this year like yeah so um I have my notes here, so I'll probably like Dakwananga Yachini. And if you've never gone hiking and you want to get some tips because you know I got to learn a lot, then keep on watching. This video is for you. I'm going to like incorporate the clips that I took at Mount Long Knot and the clips that I'm gonna take right now. It's almost midnight, but I had to shoot this because I really want you guys to feel like I've helped you, you know, instead of like having to quicker ah quicker music in a whole clip i've like thought maybe why not come and talk to you i really hope you're going to appreciate the tips that i'll share with you guys um let's get into the video It's Friday evening and it's around 8 and I want to sleep right now because I have issues waking up tomorrow and I haven't slept like for um since yesterday noon so I need to sleep I've been editing a vlog so yeah you guys so it's almost 9 and I'm waiting for dinner to get ready like I'm just here chilled waiting as I catch up with guys at the in the group, because you know, like it's my first time hiking, it's crazy. I don't know what to expect. I don't know how it goes, but I'm positive everything is gonna go okay. Like I'm just putting my outfits together, like my outfits together and all that stuff, as I wait to eat and and sleep so early. I need to like wake up at three something, three thirty, so I'll manage to be in town at six. Oh my gosh. It's a bit so exciting when you get somewhere so early enough. Like you have time to do all the stuff. You're not in a rush. You get cleared so early. I mean it's like so exciting. So um Nainda Kwingia for bus. I'm like going with that bus over there. I wanted this though. I wanted like this big bus though, but you know, but over to Africa. Um Time to go, praying for a good day. Bye. I literally left home at 5 30 and I got to town at 6 because our bus was supposed to leave at 6 15 or 6 30. So you definitely don't want to be left, especially if you're using a tour company because those guys just don't wait for you. because you know you'll be leaving home mapema so you definitely don't want to um kuskia baridi maybe and get there sick and stuff like that yes so the other tips that are kuja like in the video so let's watch the video first <music> Crazy. 
guys i need to catch up oh my gosh it's happening i honestly can't believe this is happening for real like i can't actually believe i booked a whole trip to langnot so let's do this it's around 9 30 right now by the way and being so small really sucks like i'm just by myself i don't have any friends or anything and everyone else got company you know but i'm good this is how you learn to love yourself i mean this is how you learn to reflect and you know, like having to spend all those hours by yourself you just learn a lot of stuff about yourself that you probably never knew before <clears throat> and that's the beauty of life so anyways i don't need to talk too much i'm tired already like my body is just so unfit but i think i'll be doing more of this hike so yeah somehow it sounds it sounds promising somehow i just jumbo now don't give it like i have a cold if you follow me on instagram i know you've probably seen this already but you guys actually voted that i should do the budget travel series the travel budget series okay whichever so i have two upcoming trips in the next two weeks of april and I normally post much of the stuff that I'm doing on my Instagram, so I thought you should go and follow me there. I've been seated here for like five minutes, as in. I don't know where I would pay for this kind of pain and torture though. No idea. Man. Anyways, let's keep going. But I have zero motivation for real. This feels crazy. But I promised myself to get to the top. So let's go. and telling myself you know you need to keep going just don't give up guys it's so tough especially if it's your first time i would recommend you to watch some youtube videos or read blogs especially you know for motivation and you know what to do and what not to do and a video like this one will definitely help you so keep on watching <music> I made it to the top I mean I made it to my goal like this was my goal for the first time like being a fast hiker they like, can you guys see like Naivasha over there I'm so proud of myself seriously I just want to cry now I'm walking to this side I want to see what's good on that side and hopefully I could go to the other side but not today guys i almost fainted like what happened is i left my snacks in the bus because they said that hatung those papers so as a good person i left my snacks in the bus 
and you know i was like supposed to i'd carried myself some juice yogurt zin and in the whole point was i'd carried some sugary stuff since i'm like also trying to avoid junk and nuts but now they are in the car they are in the fuck damning car it's only 12 pm and i'm super tired i literally have nothing left to do here like I, I honestly can't go around this this thing so um i'm just going to the shed and chill at this point i wish i actually had my footage because i could just have edited a vlog as i wait for the other guys to come so we can go back home i like i honestly feel like i should go back home tomorrow i have a festival to attend so for some weird reason i just need to sleep and wake up a fresh person because sasa ni kwenda marathon marathon it's back to back vlogs back to back so you guys need to subscribe to this channel if you need more of these videos please let me know leave leave a like i mean leave me a comment like this video suggest other videos that suggest other places that i should visit and what i should expect because today i came to mount long note with no expectations because i really didn't want to have any expectations especially like this was my first hike so I just figured out like I should just come and face whatever that I that I find. Guys, the other thing is you need your energy. So I'd recommend you to get a, an energy drink, Monster, Red Bull, Shark, whatever that works for you. Or else you can still get like a glucose, glucose, glucose. You hear me? I almost passed out halfway. And the worst thing is I was so low. So like I had to sit down in the... In, in some stairs, there was I was somewhere up in one of stairs and I had to listen to myself as in Kujiskiza you get. So like um, luckily enough some ladies were coming up and look on me watch somewhere down there and we had like kind of made friends so like the lady one of them like Alin said and glucose. Thanks Mary, God bless your heart. I'm like five minutes away for real for real and it's exciting for some weird reason like I can't believe I actually went up and came back down congratulations K you did it you made it you made it it really gets dusty up there so you definitely like would like to carry a change of clothes for me i never found it necessary i was comfortable just the way i was like you know just wanted everyone to know like yay i did my first hike yay i went hiking all that kind of stuff so i was going down i really got the point where guys were getting a hiking stick i'm a trading stick i can't really remember what the, what the stick is called but it, it gets tough when you're going down because you know it's kind of stiff so it's gonna help you to maintain the balance and i think that's why you recommended to get one they were selling it at 50 shillings so be ready to pay for 50 more yeah so that's a lesson that i learned the hard way you guys don't want that that's why i'm making this video for you then the other thing is after i got down guys it was really tough for me because i had a really bad headache and all i wanted to do was sleep i didn't even go to to, to wipe my feet or you know do anything all i wanted to do was stay in the bath and eat and sleep so I didn't have painkillers and I really didn't know that we needed painkillers in the first place anyways. You know like, you know when you're just a first hiker, all you can see is the fun part but you can't really think about the aftermath. So, but a friend really came through. It looks like this day was like one of my best days because like I just had people like, you know, helping me out. It looks like, I, it looks like I'm on all anyways, maybe, yeah. So, I got some painkillers from a friend. Thank you. So, the last 
and the most important tip is to have an adventurous spirit and have an open mind because you know you're going to like meet a lot of people a lot of people want to talk others don't want to talk and if you're an introverted person like myself definitely you need to keep yourself busy because definitely you'll have to talk like whether you want to talk or not so anyway that sounds good like come on and talk about care or not yeah so just go out there, live your life, live without limits, and that's something that I promised to do this year. So wait for more videos, guys. I hope I really hope you did enjoy this video. I'll see you on the next one. Bye. Love always. Okay.